Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start the questions. Mr. iPod King Carter, do you feel as though your team deserves to be in the position you're in? Of course. We have proven ourselves for 13 games so far that we are the better team and that we can go undefeated in the postseason. IKC, may I call you that? Yes, if it makes you more comfortable. Since the Miami Heat has gotten a look at your play style and strengths, do you believe Game 2 would be a different story? <laughs> well, if it was up to me, I would want Game 2 to be like Game 1 where we come out with the blowout. But if the Miami Heat come out and adjust to the way we play, hopefully we can adapt and come out with the win on top of that. But we won't be able to tell until we get into this game, so let's do it. Here, what's going on everybody, it's Hot Pocket and Carter here, the super man of YouTube. And I would like to welcome you guys to the NBA Finals Game 2. Yes, we do have the home court advantage against the number one seed in the East. I know a lot of people had a bunch of different questions inside the comment section of my last video. And the number one question was, why do we have the home court advantage? Well, me personally, what I'm thinking is we may have had more wins versus losses than the Miami Heat, even though we were fifth in the Western Conference. Maybe we played more games on the road or at home and we had a better record, even though the Heat were just number one in the East. Sometimes things go like that, especially when stupid R-Star glitches happen and simulations happen. Now, what I want to jump into into this video, I'm going to get into that. But the first thing I want to say is, I want to give a shout out to this girl. Man, her name long as hell. Alright, first of, first off, I don't even think I'm going to get it right. Miss Badass Bitch Nikki. I don't know if I got that right. Man, her link going to be in the description. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Basically, I want to thank her for laying down those audios in the beginning. We also got a surprise for you guys at the end of the video. But I'm not going to tell y'all no more about that. Now, about this gameplay. You guys already know what I do. I'm trying to run plays. I'm trying to switch things up. And the editing is going to get nothing but better. You know, um, I'm trying to switch up my editing. See what I can do to make the videos better for y'all. But personally, I think the gameplay alone says a lot. Man, I'm trying to run plays, run nice pick and rolls, get more people involved. I'm not, I'm not just trying to be a scoring machine, you know. Um, I showed you guys 100 points, me just scoring. You guys were like, oh, man, you're cheesing on the computer. And then when I drop a video with no points and just assist you guys, like, oh, that's impossible. I don't know what to do with you guys, man. All I know is Team IKC be holding me down in the comment section, especially when I don't see the comments at a certain time. I just want to thank you guys for that. But let me hop into the gameplay. Now you see me trying to put the moves on my boy. I pass it down to Aldridge in the paint. I chose to not pass it to Batum because Batum wasn't having such of a good game. And this is why. LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, I don't know what it is about these two. But I was telling you guys in my first video in the finals. I showed you guys that the defense is crazy. It's, it's horrendous. I don't know what to do with these guys when we're on the offensive tear. Now me personally... I like to run plays for my guys, but playing against the Heat, you just can't run plays. That They are literally the best team on this game. And I said it here first. Now, after this layup, we're about to get into the second quarter, though. And coming soon, the number one selling, number one rated NBA 2K14. All right, now that we're back, let me give you a little bit more insight on LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. Now... In the beginning of the game, you know that they're going to do what they do. But stuff like that, really, really 2K? You literally let that man rise on everybody in the paint. He didn't get bumped. He didn't get fouled. He glided to the rim. I thought he was MJ for a second. No lie. But yeah, man, when you're playing the Miami Heat, LeBron James does what he wants. Dwayne Wade does what he wants. You barely can do anything with these guys. Look at this. Look at this. LeBron James running the floor, gets the pass from Ray Allen on a bounce, and he just rises on these guys. Nobody wants to foul him. Nobody wants to step up and play D. Nothing. And it's even worse when we run offensive sets. Look at these offensive plays, man. Look how long it takes these plays to develop. If you watch any of my older videos, you would notice that floppy base and other plays for three-point shots don't take as long. And what made it so bad was Wesley Matthews passed up a three. I have never seen Wesley Matthews pass up a three before this actual tournament of the finals now when i'm running my plays i'm i'm trying to get the plays to work i'm trying to figure out what i can do to make the plays actually work but it's nothing that 
I can do. Maybe it's the teammates. Maybe it's a certain teammate on my team making everybody worse. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's me. <laughs> I really don't know, but you guys can see here, man. I'm trying to force the issue, but Wesley Matthews does get the J. Now, we are up and down with the seesaw and all of that and i know that's how the game should be but sometimes man you want a 10 point lead you want a big lead you want to hold on something where you know for a fact that you know what i'm gonna come out with this win no sweat on my back but sometimes man when you're playing this game it's crazy even though i hit that shot it's all good man we're about to go into the second half look at the score right here man we're down three i'm trying to hold my head high i don't know what else to do but we're about to get into the halftime report, y'all. You see me, look, look at me, put my arms up. Like, man, I'm doing all I can do, man. Look at the cameraman capturing my glimpse. <laughs> now, brought to you by Sprint. The story of the NBA Finals is shaping up here in Game 2. It's time to break down the first half of action on 2K Sports. The Heat taking care of business. It could go either way as they look to even up the series by taking Game 2 of the NBA Finals. And LeBron is absolutely dominating. He's got 16 points, and in addition to that, he's been a factor on the glass as well. A couple of helpers, too. And battling nonstop, the Portland Trailblazers. They've been dialed in from long range. You can't leave them open outside. Shooting is what they do best. The captain dominating the first two quarters. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. That'll be all for us here at the studios as we head back to the start of the third quarter with Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris. All right, finally, we are back. It's finally time for me to run up the score on the Heat. Now, you guys already know how we do, man. It's the third quarter. These are precious, and I mean precious possessions. Now, this is the reason why. In the third quarter, the computer always heats up. If you've been watching NBA 2K videos from any commentator, you know this for a fact. In the third quarter, they start getting out of line. Things start happening, whereas though, it's nothing that you can do to stop them. Check out LeBron. LeBron is literally going off. I was doing everything that I could offensively, defensively. I was playing help defense. I was trying everything to try to get my team to come back. I was even running fast breaks, not waiting on nobody to come down the court, trying to run the offense on my own. And you can see right there, Batum gets the layup. We doing what we need to do. We finally get the lead. But guess what? Miami, they're not down. They're not down and out. So guess what? They take the lead back. So it's only up to me to do what I need to do to try to win. But check it out. I give up the cookies. When have you ever known me to give up the cookies and let something like that happen? LeBron James comes down and does his patented dunk. Nobody blocked it. He got fouled. I, you know what? Outrageous. I need that dunk package. That's all I'm saying. Look at him flexing on us. Come on, man. It, it, it's getting out of line. Even Ray Allen is 4 for 4. You know something is going on when Ray Ray is going down, but... You see me out on the break. You already know what it is. I'm throwing it off the backboard. I am up here to challenge Mr. Off the Backboard Waza now to a challenge. Who can throw it off the backboard more? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But back to the gameplay. Miami, they just keep going up. It's nothing that I can do to stop them. All I can do is sit here and pray because we have Damian Lillard at the point. Now, I'm going to say a few things about Damian Lillard. First of all, in real life, he's a great point guard. Don't get me wrong. He's a rookie, nice rookie, doing what he needs to do. But in this game, he ain't shit. And I'm going to tell you why. He was letting Mario Chalmers go off. He wasn't playing any defense. He was hardly playing any offense. That shot right there, he literally turned the lights out off of my dom. If it wouldn't have been me throwing that dom, I don't think he would have made the shot. It's that simple. I'm going to show you this guy's stats at the end of the game. For some reason, he got more minutes than he was supposed to. And I don't know why. But let's check out this replay for a quick second. Check out where they start my Nike replay from. From the inbound pass. I have never seen a replay go all the way from an inbound pass. This is crazy. I don't know if 2K jipped me on a few replays earlier, like the one off the backboard and decided to give me this one full play, but I definitely appreciate it, man. But check out the vertical, 45-inch vertical. I could definitely get higher. I just got to switch up the dunks on my dunk packages. 
Now, we in the fourth quarter. It's early. You know, we're down one. We still have a little bit of fight in us. But me personally, I was trying to run plays. They weren't working. So I decided to go to the quick screens, man. The quick screens was the only way that I would get free. And sometimes you really have to use them. If you know the double teams are coming or you know that you're up against a team where offense just doesn't work, running plays just doesn't work, you have to do whatever you have to do to score. Now, we were playing great D. Don't get me wrong. We were playing enough D to keep them at bay. And me, I was shooting lights out. I was doing what I needed to do to get buckets. You know what I'm saying? That's, what, that's all I was about this game. I was about getting buckets and doing what I needed to do. Now, that bad call for pass and, you know, all of that, that was my fault. You know what I'm saying? I'll take total responsibility for that. But one thing I will say, when Damian Lillard was in the game, look, I'm trying to place all the blame on Damian. If Damian Lillard was at either shooting guard or wasn't in the game in the third quarter, I guarantee we would have been up. Now, right now, we're down 10 with almost three and a half minutes left in the game. Things are getting real tight. I'm getting real noinked. I'm scared. I'm shaking in my boots. And I'm trying everything to stop these guys. But to tell you the truth, as long as I'm at the point guard position, there's nothing I can do because stuff like this happens. LeBron James, hesitation, automatic lane to the rim. I didn't even want to show the replays. That's how disgusted I was. Wesley Matthews is missing buckets. I don't have anybody to go to besides myself. Dwayne Wade is literally clearing the lane with two-handed jams. I, I didn't know what to do, man. Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, my God ipod is about to lose this game we have almost a minute and a half left and this is still going on lebron james and the way and way is the best tag team i have seen in the last maybe five six maybe seven years man this tag team right here this is championship material like even though my boy just shot the lights out we've been needing that all game that's not enough it's 17 seconds left and i'm about to come out with the l this is my first loss of the playoffs. I was totally pissed in this game. I decided not to give you guys a live con because I dropped too many F-bombs, too many B-bombs, all of that. But I'm still going to run Jive Turkey 600 song because we are here to win the chip. Greg Oden didn't pan out, so they drafted iPod. David caught a perfect picture like a tripod. A point guard that delivers like Papa John's. Me drafted as the front page topic I'm. Philly's pride, Team Villanova, finesse game but the heart of a soldier, when I go to the rack there's no stopping me, better bring a double team, better stand properly, <laughs> on defense, move your feet, taking the blaze to the chip to abuse the heat, I was raised like a crip cause I ruled the street, not the court, the blacktop, the moves, the heat, pull off, it's like the late, great, great Magic Johnson, I got drafted 11, that was 9. Sense. Name a player that penetrates better Number 15 on the polo sports sweater Chris Paul better pass the torch fast I'm the weatherman on the court, the forecast Said it's gonna rain, I'ma bring pain Double team Dave Carter bet I go lame I'm the king, LeBron better step off He kicked the door down, I'll blow the deck off no rookie in this league can get with me. Most points. All I'm saying is, Mario Chalmers had 18 points. I don't remember him scoring that many points on me. That's all I'm saying. Check, yo, look at Damian Lillard. Who gave him the right to take 16 minutes? That's the minutes that I needed to bring my team back. Why are you in the game for 16 minutes? What's up? Like, 2K, really? This is what y'all do to me in the second game? Like, come on, man. I got... Ugh. Yeah! You know what? I'm done. I can't take it no more. All right, y'all. Um, I'm not trying to be here all night. Um, if you guys can please keep the question short, we can get out of here in a timely fashion. We're going to start with the press and then we're just going to move on forward after that. <laughs> Damn, Mr. Carter. I mean, you must be real humble right now. <laughs> I mean, I would be, you know, sucking all that shit. Can't even back it up. Yo, who is that? Why are you laughing? Hold on, I remember you. You're that lady from the last press conference when we beat the Heat by 20. What's your name again? What are you doing here? I don't think my name matters right now. I, I think it's your skills that was matters. I mean... Listen, now look. 
Miss whatever your name is, you do not question my integrity and my skills. I go out there every single night to put my life on the line for my team. I do whatever to win the game. Don't worry about what we're doing over there. Worry about yourself, all right? You can't be talking all that shit, but your dick type's small for it. I mean, I, it must have shrunk or some type of shit. I don't know. I, you must be a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo watch your mouth man what is wrong with you why did you come here to antagonize me is this entertainment for you is something wrong with you are you insane come on man listen you know what get, just just go to the door and get out man please please something's totally wrong with you why are you guys entertaining her right now listen man i mean you would really speak i mean your mouth really extends i, I don't know what to believe i mean i don't know how much you could fill in there either i mean <laughs> Somebody please get security, please. This chick is out of her mind. I don't know if she's a Heat fangirl or what, but security, please come and get her, man. Get her insane behind out of this press conference, please. Why would we need security for? I mean, you can't handle the heat? Oh, 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 I see what it is. Oh, I see. You know, you one of them pussy ass niggas that talk all that shit, but when a real nigga come close, you can't even handle it. <laughs> Man, let me put this dick in your butt, son. Put what where? Listen, ho, you know what? Look, I tried to keep my calm. I tried to keep my composure, but your ass is out of line. Somebody really need to come scoop her up real quick before I come across this table. <laughs> I think out of everyone in this press conference, I got the most balls. I think I got the biggest schlung. <laughs> Yo, man, fuck out of here, here, man, your with your ratchet ass, dog. Look at your garbage. bun, shorty. What the fuck is up with you, man? Get look at that fuck fucking pantsuit you got on. Fuck out of here. What you mean I'm garbage? You garbage. You garbage. Look, look at you.